Guys, this video is gonna be way different than any video we've ever done. This is a wall of Kubota engines. We are at the Ventrac factory. We're gonna have a blast today. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We're in a loud tractor factory. Right. <laughs> we are in Orville, Ohio at Ventrac Tractors. And this is my first time ever going through a tractor manufacturer facility. Me and Aaron here. Aaron is a social media guy behind the scenes at Ventrac Tractors. We're gonna go through, we're gonna show you guys how tractors are made. So at the start of any manufacturing process like this, this is where all the steel comes in the door. So it comes in the door, raw steel. You can see some pieces are up here on this shelving unit right here. And then we're introduced to this rack right here. As they go from that rack, they'll go over to the laser cutter and they'll cut out the pieces that need to be made to assemble the tractors. So this is the raw steel area where everything comes in. All American made steel, mostly sourced locally here in the Ohio area. All right, guys, I feel like I'm in that movie Tommy Boy right now with all this stuff in here. It's pretty cool. Ah, whoa! <laughs> so this is the laser cutter right here, and this cuts all these little parts that are to be welded together to build the entire tractor. So there's several laser cutters. The one that we just showed a few minutes ago was actually making little Ventrac keychains, and that's the newest, latest, fastest laser that they have here. And they have a huge facility here around 375,000 square feet. Man, that's huge. How, Harold, how long have you been with Ventrac? Started back in 2003. Nice. As he's punching these pieces out and they're cut on the laser, each individual piece gets a label so they know exactly where it came from, exactly who cut it out, exactly who punched it out, and there is awesome quality control here for every tiny itsy bitsy piece that is made on this tractor. In one month, they're cutting over 80,000 individual pieces. So guys, we are with Odell, and Odell, you're running a brake right here, is that right? Yes, it's, okay. it's a CNC brake press. Okay. It's a small 40 ton brake press. Nice, and you're making a mirror bracket mount, is yeah, that right? I'm making a mirror bracket. Okay. It's uh, got one bend on it at um, 80 degrees. Nice, nice. How long have you been with Ventrac? Oh, about 15 years. Nice. So you have a son that works here, is that yes, right? I have a son that works here that's been working about seven or eight years. Nice. Awesome. This is my, my graphics. It tells me how I should put my part in to bend it. Okay. Okay, like this is my punch and this is my die and this is my part and this is my, my stop in the back. So I just put this edge right up against my stop in the back and press the pedal and it'll bend it and then I have a protractor here that I check my degrees and it could be 80 degrees. So the area that we're going to right now is the welding area. Some of these machines are welded up by robots, and a lot of these machines and parts are welded up by people. So 
We'll go over here, we'll check out some of the robot welders, which are really cool, and we'll get to meet the real guys behind putting these decks together. Here's one right now. This is the finish mode deck, the six foot finish mode deck that's similar to what we have on our tractor now. They're always making constant improvements so there may be slight differences in year to year production. Really interesting. So up here on these racks are all jigs that are made for producing specific parts for the Ventrac tractor. Now they make their own attachments here and from day to day it's variable as to what attachment they might be making. So today they're over there making those finish mode decks. To me, there's something to be said for a company that allows their employees to ride three-wheel bicycles. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Promoting fitness. Real behind the scenes here, we're going in the powder coating room, guys. Check this out. It's a big white room with a huge vacuum system. Up here in the ceiling, you can feel all the vacuum just drawing up this powder coat. And this is the powder coat area right here. Real people, once again, guys. So each part comes through here between three and 4,000 parts per day. They're powder coated by hand, and then they're sent through this whole system. The whole setup takes about four hours per part to cure these parts out. Now, most Ventrac parts are made and powder coated. Some parts with sealed bearings and such like that might not be powder coated. There's only a few parts that are painted and these are foots that go on mowing decks right here. So there would be a wheel attached to this right here and it's going back in here to an oven to bake. Pretty rad. Now, basically the way powder coating works, if you guys don't know, is electricity is passed through these metal hooks and it draws magnetically the powder to the part and it sucks to it and it goes in here and it's baked on like enamel. They said there's a quarter mile of track running through here and all this stuff just travels throughout. Can you imagine? having this job and you can see that it's semi-automated so there's a sprayer over here that's dousing this stuff with the powder and then he's touching up all the little spots that are kind of tough the little corners the little nuances that need to be handled so again checks and balances here a lot of quality control at Ventrac. <laughs> we got a true Stony Ridge farm fan <laughs> this is fun now, let's go see stuff that actually looks like a tractor. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the ladies are always the funnest. So tell me your name. Michelle. Michelle, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. I'm the Stony Ridge Farmer on YouTube. Oh. So we've got a tractor that we shoot some videos, uh, a Ventrac tractor. How long you been with Ventrac? Uh, 11 months. You have any family members that work here? No, I have uh, my oldest son Ryan works here. Awesome. On the KN line. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is Michelle's son Ryan. Awesome. So these are the axles, and this is the transmission setup. The Ventrac is a fully hydrostatic tractor. All four wheels turn all the time. So it's a fully hydrostatic articulating tractor. So know that going into this, that this tractor bends in the middle. It's a little bit different than your standard farm tractor. Okay, so here is the transaxle assembly, uh, front and rear here. We'll cruise back over to here. And this is all set up in this jig, a rolling jig. And here's more. And this is the framework that goes around the engine. And the operator station would be right here in the center. We'll cruise on down this way. And you can see more assembly has gone through here. Beautiful, beautiful little tractors right here. And you can see this is a center pivot point on this tractor. And he's installing the levers for making it move. 
All right, we're here at the engine area where the engines are put on the tractor. And what's your name? Vincent Trenny. Okay, and you're an Eagle Scout, is that right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And you've been wanting to work for Ventrac for years and years, I, I hear, is that right? Yeah, I've uh, known about Ventrac since I was 10. I came up, took a tour, and now I work here, so. Awesome, Eagle Scout. This is the famed wall of engines look back there we're going to go over there in just a second so these are the Kubota gas engines that go into these machines and right now this gentleman right here is installing the gas engine right here how would you like to have that in your garage <laughs> so just before the wheels and the seat and all the operator station goes in place we go to what's your name brian, brian? josh and Brian is the guy that test fires these machines and makes sure that everything is functioning just right. Am I right? Yes, sir. How long have you been with Ventrac? Uh, a little over two years. Awesome, awesome. Let's fire this thing up and see what she does. Right. tractors has to be tested the hydraulic system has to be tested and there is a miniature drag strip right here in the factory you're gonna get a treat right here man they have to spike the hydraulics in other words they gotta hit it really hard and take off we're gonna pop a wheelie Make sure your tractor is tough enough to hit the grass running, baby. That floor is sticky, just like a racetrack, like a drag racetrack. That's awesome. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> so you've seen the manufacturing process with the tractor. Now, Ventrac makes around 30 attachments for their tractors, and this is the attachment assembly area right here. So let's go over and check that out. So today they're making the finish cut 72 inch rear discharge deck right here. You can see the start of the assemblies here and this gentleman right here is wrapping things up and then they're going into crates and this is the crate that it goes in and then they're shrink wrapping the crate right here. So this is how it gets to the Ventrac dealer is in a shrink wrapped crate like that. So we can't cover everything manufactured in here today but this is the SSV, it's a sidewalk snow vehicle and right here is the broom. So this is here to test fit everything, make sure it goes out the door in good shape. And right over here on this side, which is something they use a whole lot in Ohio, not so much down here in North Carolina where we're at, but this is a snow plow that goes on the 4000 series. Have you ever seen a lubricant vending machine? All right guys, that's Ventrac. American made, American steel, American employees, real people, awesome stuff. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing an American manufacturing series. We've got a bunch of factories to go to to show you how all this stuff is made right here in America. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. To be welded together. Yeah, it's awesome. Sir. We're gonna surprise Aaron's wife here. And he's a little I'm nervous about trouble. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she is, uh, I guess, the. there's always a woman in every office or a man in every office. It's easy to sneak up behind and go, boo! She's right? She's the loud one. <laughs> so she's the one. She's yeah. the loud one too? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna sneak in there real quick. And, uh, 
once again, Ventrac is a very family-oriented place. So Aaron's wife works here. Uh, a lot of people, multiple generations work here at Ventrac. So it's kind of cool. We're going to sneak in real quick. She's a fighter. She swings, so oh, okay. stay arm's length away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating so bad right now. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. I think that worked, didn't it? <laughs> Behind the scenes. Like <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, no, are you okay? <laughs> you didn't hurt yourself, did you? You just. No, you just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> We had to wait yeah. like 10 minutes was, to get the shot because yeah, because she was filling a semi load of Yeah, I was equipment. wheeling and dealing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. Awesome. Awesome. Make magic happen. I think that Aaron I'm, is I'm busted. He's in busted. He's in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah, got to get my tires warm. Are you familiar with the term murder ball? Murder ball? No. Yeah. No. You're not? No. Okay. Murder ball. Oh, <laughs> Here's the rules. You ready? I had to get on one of these bikes. Here's the rules. We're racing to the last cone down here. <laughs> and that's it. Those so are the only rules. that's the only rules. <laughs> I'm okay with that. On your mark, get set, go. Ooh. <laughs> 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 He's more out of breath than I am, and he got a rolling start. <laughs> tap, tap, tappy, tap. <laughs> oh, he brake checked me. He button hooked me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little factory tour. Whew. Out of breath. Who wants to be on TV? Greg? Is it Greg? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, man. Tell me what you do. What do you do for Ventrac? What's your name? Greg Peters. Greg, I'm Josh. What do you do? I do uh, pre-assembly kits for the tractors. Helping with rods, get them ready to be put over to another station for someone else to put the actual part together. Awesome, awesome. How long you been here? I've been here at least five years. Nice, cool man. Well, it's good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. Doing a good job, Thanks. building good tractors. <laughs>